And the line up for the 800 meters for women. This is uh, three heats, eight athletes in each heat. The first two in each heat, and the two best performers advance to the final. In the heat one, the main one, Victoria Salude of Espana, Charlene Mathias of Luxembourg goes in heat two, Shanine Slandine of Israel goes in heat in lane three, Justine Federinch of France in lane four. Lane 5 is Monica Halsa of Poland. Lane 6 is the Russian Anisha Bazadarayeva. And in lane 7, it's Katrina Smitlak of Croatia. And the Ukrainian European Junior reigning gold medalist, Anisha Tychuk, goes in lane 8. And there is Anisha Tychuk with a personal best, a season's best this year of 2.0167. She's the fastest person, the fastest woman on the track. In, in, at the moment with a PB of 20037. <laughs> track ref just calls the athletes forward. And there is Justine Bedrink of France. In going in lane four, season best of two zero zero ninety seven. Her personal best is that was set in that day, that just about two months ago. There is an Anisha Takanuk of Ukraine. Anisha Takanuk, the European junior gold medalist. She goes in lane one, and it's already a sizable crowd is gathered here in uh, in Tampere Stadium for this evening session on day two of the European Under-23 Championships. And are away, it's the start of the race, and they will obviously run in lanes up until the last after two, after 100 metres, and then they break down to the back straight where we'll see a, a, a gather starting to occur and as, that, as they move down onto the back straight we can see just after 200 metres and now they start to group across and it is the, just a little bit of shoving just in the corner there but we can see that the race has just broken out and it is the Croatian athlete uh, Katrina, Katrina Smirak who just takes the running weight at the start of this very first heat in the 800 metres and as they just stretch it out onto the back straight they'll come round to the home straight just a moment or going to come in at about uh, 55, 58 seconds uh, won our first lap and in the lead there we can see the leading pack is being led out by Poland's uh, Monica Halsa so it's Halsa and then tapping up the Ukraine as they come down past us and they hear the bell as they go past us in this race the first two and then the two fastest losers from all three heats that will progress to the final of the women's 800 meters and as they stretch it back up it's the Ukrainian Tajak and the Paul Halsa who just stretched the race out but coming up on the outside is Justin Federich of France as the race just stretches out it's the first two to qualify automatically just remember that it's the Russian uh, <coughs> it's the Russian Baz Bazreya who moves into second place behind the uh, Ukraine with Federich just hanging in in third place ready to strike and Federich goes back into second place just as they come around with just under 150 meters or so to go but it's Takarak who's, who has stretched the lead as they come down onto the home straight Takarak in first place from the UK from the Ukraine with Justin Federich coming in in second position so it's going to be taken here by, by Ananisha Takanak, the European Junior Gold Medalist for 800 metres. It's, uh, it's the French athlete Justine Federich who comes in in second place in, in uh, and I'll just get you those times now in one moment. Unofficially clocked as 2.040 for uh, Anastasia Ta Ta Takanjuk, a, the French athlete Justine Federich in 2.04.7. Officially confirmed now for Takanak as 2.0397 automatically qualifies for the final of the women's 800 metres. 
Uh, Justin Tekanich comes in in second place, 20465. Third went to Victoria Saluda in of Spain in an unofficial 20, an official now 20609. So that the place is now set for the fastest loser. But there you see uh, Ananisha Takchung, Takchung uh, coming across to take the first heat in a time of 2.03.97 and looked very easy as she goes on to now become looking after to add to her European Junior Gold Medal to a European Under-23 Gold Medal.